Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweat and I try in this tutorial you're going to be learning skin retouching using frequent separation from the very start to the very end and we are going to be using Photoshop and I'm using Photoshop 2024 for Mac for this kind of tutorial. So what you have to understand about skin retouching it is basically cleaning up the skin so it can look better than it was initially before and smoothing out the skin to your liking or to the best way possible. So with this I just going to come the background layer right here and simply duplicate the background layer by pressing ctrl j or you can use command j on the keyboard to duplicate the background layer and just come to this adjustments right here and simply get the patch tool so after that simply come and make sure it is selected right here and the mode or the patch is set to normal and source is also selected and after doing that simply zoom into the image so basically how the patch tool basically is going to work we simply going to come and you left click and you draw around the blemish that you want to remove and it is going to make a selection and to remove that blemish simply drag it on a nearby area that has clean skin and it is going to replace the clean skin over the blemish hence removing the blemish so you can see if I totally want to remove this draw over it and left click and hold down and you drag that to a clean area that is nearby to have it replaced with a natural color of the skin tone because the area that you're replacing that with is going to be closer or have basically the same colors of the skin so take your time as you're cleaning up the skin so basically this is more of the first step when it comes to editing a complex a complex portrait like this one so just come and continue cleaning up the blemishes and always take your time as you are cleaning up these blemishes because it's going to save you so much time and it's going to make you have the best work out there so always take your time as you're trying to clean up or remove the blemishes or skin imperfections so i'm just going to remove all these just like that and you can see the before after before after so always take your time as you're trying to clean up or remove the skin imperfections and for my case i have already done that because i don't want the tutorial to be a long one so this is the before after before after so after doing that the next thing is going to be retouching or doing the skin retouching for this kind of image so with this we're just going to be using frequent separation and we're going to divide the image into the colors and the texture so just come to this layer and we're going to come and duplicate this layer to by pressing ctrl j twice and after doing that we're just going to double click to name this to color or you can name it to low frequency so i'm just going to name it to low and the apply is going to be the high frequency the low frequency line is going to contain the colors and the high frequency line is going to contain the textures so we're going to divide this image into the colors and the textures so after doing that select the low frequency layer and hide the high frequency layer so just simply come to filter and come to blur and come to gaussian blur and it's going to open up the gaussian blur window so take the radius all the way down and look for an area on the skin that has or contains more skin texture so i'm just going to choose that area and i can zoom in to see the textures better by using the zoom in tool and left click on the radius slide and start taking it up up to a point whereby you are just starting to close out on the details within the skin so for this image since it doesn't have more clarity or the resolution is kind of low i'll use a radius of four pixels so if at all you have more skin textures it means you have to use a slightly higher radius so you have to you don't have to cram this radius because when you cram it means you're not going to be having the best results because different photos have different levels of skin textures meaning the radius is always going to change so what you have to do you left click and drag as you're releasing to see the effect in real time so we stop at the point where by the textures are just starting to disappear from the image and hit ok so just come the high frequency layer and now activate it and just come to image and come to apply image right here so when you come to apply image you're simply going to come and we select the low frequency layer make sure the channel is rgb and since we are using an 8-bit image, you're just going to come and choose a blend mode of subtract. Make sure you type the scale to 2 and offset 128, just like that. 
and when you put these settings right you'll see the text just on this square layer which is lacking colors so make sure the invert option is not turned on and make sure that the preview is turned on so just come and click ok come and change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to linear light to get back the image displaying the way it was meant to be so after doing that we're just going to come and put these two into a group by pressing command and selecting both layers then press ctrl g or you can use command g to put this in a group and after that you can open up the group by clicking on the drop down arrow so just come and select the low frequency and high the high frequency layer so that you can only see colors so for this step we just want to even out the skin tones or skin color to remove this kind of dark patches within the skin so right click and select the brushes and you can select the mesa brush tool and if at all the Mesa brush tool is not showing under the brushes, you can always locate it below here. So for the settings of the Mesa brush tool, we are simply going to make sure the hardness set to zero. And clean brush is selected and make sure the option that says clean brush after each and stroke has been selected with a weight of 9%, load 75, mix 90 plus 100%. So what we want to do, just want to even out the skin tones of uh, these models face so what you're just going to reduce on the size of the brush and how to mix you basically left click and hold down and you move the strokes of the brush just like that so you left click and hold down and make sure that the size of the brush is going to remain within the area you're trying to work on so you left click and hold down and you drag the brush so you left click hold down and you drag the brush in a given direction that you want to so to work on a new area you release the left click button and left click once again and hold down and you mix and drag just like that and while these colors are transitioning from one color to another you reduce on the size and you blend that transition create that nice and smooth transition so as you're doing this you can notice that the image is kind of looking more on the plastic side but don't mind right now we are working on the color so when you come and turn on the texture layer or the high frequency layer, you can see the textures are still left intact within this image so just come and hide the texture layer and as you're working using the mesa brush tool don't zoom all the way in because when you zoom all the way in you won't be seeing the uneven skin tone transitions and to increase or decrease on the size of the mesa brush tool you can use the open and close brackets on the keyboard to play around with varying or various sizes of uh, the mesa brush tool so i'm just going to come and mix just like that so you are basically mixing and blending colors that are looking alike to create a nice and smooth transition between uh, those colors. So frequency separation is just that easy and not complicated like you see in most tutorials. So I'll reduce on the size and work on the nose area just like that. So take your time as you're trying to blend these kinds of transitions. So I'll reduce on the size. Since I'm working on a small area, I'll just reduce on the size and work on those areas. So make sure that you take your time as you're trying to blend those areas. And to see your progress, always come and turn on the high frequency layer. And you can see before, after, before, after. So you can turn it off and continue working. So remember, skin retouching is about perfecting the skin. So always work on every area that has skin and you try to perfect it so i'm just going to come and blend just like that on the neck area so just come this shadow area and also blend so always take your time to see better results so you can turn this back on and look at what we have right now so right now if at all you want to remove more of the blemishes let me show you quick before and after from where we started and where we are so this is the image basically before after before after before after so if at all you have more blemishes remaining simply come and select the texture or high frequency layer and come and get the clone stamp tool and make sure the mode is set to normal opacity and flat 100 percent the sample has to be current layer so to remove the blemishes that are remaining with the high frequency layer selected you have to reduce on the size and make sure it is on the size or slightly bigger than the pimple or the blemish that you want to remove so to remove a pimple or blemish simply hold down the option key on the keyboard and left click on an area near the blemish 
so option so you hold on the option key and left click while still holding down the option key or the alternate key on the keyboard and simply left click over the blemish to replace it with clean skin that is nearby so so to replace a blemish you hold down the option key on the keyboard and left click to copy clean skin near the, the blemish and release the option key or the alternate key on the keyboard and left click once again over the blemish to replace that blemish with clean skin so just do that and perfect your image to your liking so after doing that you can notice that the image now looks better natural and cleaner than it was before so this is how you can easily learn and understand skin retouching using frequency separation from the start to the very end and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you're watching and you're not subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you next more videos on this channel and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating